Uluhiyya is the uniqueness of our actions for the sake of Allah. That we make tawheed of our actions for the sake of Allah. What are our actions? First of all, our tawheed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Generally, as a whole, our actions are worship. No. Everything that we do. So all of our worship are our actions. So tawheed al-uluhiyya, this category is speaking about our actions now. Our actions that we have to make them unique and single them out for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. That's uluhiyya, the tawheed of, uh, uh, what is it in English? Uluhiyya, what is it in English? Tawheed of worship, yeah, they say tawheed of worship. Tawheed of worship, tawheed al-uluhiyya. Because uluhiyya is from the word, uh, it's from the fam family tree of words of Allah al-ilah, uh, aliha ya'lahu, which means to worship something, to worship. Uh, like uh, abada ya'budu, ma'bud, aliha ya'lahu ma'luh. To worship something. So Tawheed al-Uluhiyya is the Tawheed of worship. And worship is our action. We worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this category is looking at our actions from our point of view now. That our actions, our worship, we single that out for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in everything that we do. Our actions could be actions in the heart. So some examples of worship that is from the heart. Fear. Fear, hope, love, dependence. All of these are actions of the heart and they are worship. These are worships of the heart. These are actions from the heart which are worship. So these actions, we have to make them singled out for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone as well. Fear, for example, there is a certain type of fear which is only permissible for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Love, only permissible for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Natural type of love and other types of love. Yes, they can be uh, for your father, your sons, your family. That's a natural type of love. But the love which is the love of worship is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And other actions, dependence and reliance. We don't depend and rely upon the graves and the pious people there. Our dependence and reliance is directly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we direct it to Allah and we make our supplications to Allah. So they are actions from our hearts that we direct to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make that tawheed, i.e. unify them and make them unique to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then you have actions upon the tongue, for example, Statements of the tongue, La ilaha illa shahada, Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah, all this type of dhikr, all these types of supplications, these are actions of the tongue, and there are hadith about that as well. Alhamdulillah, tamla al mizan, like we mentioned previously in our lessons about the day of judgment, the, the weighing scale, there's a hadith that the person says, Alhamdulillah, and this kind of dhikr, and that's very heavy in the weighing scales. So, uh, supplication and duas and remembrance upon the tongue, that's also an act of worship, and that also has to be singled out for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Then, thirdly, you have acts of worship which could be upon the body, physical acts of worship. For example, jihad. Salah, Hajj, Jihad, all of these things. Prayer, prayer when a person prays, physical action, physical act of worship, as well as being an act of worship which has upon the tongue and in the heart. It encompasses, it encompasses all three aspects, but there is a physical aspect to it as well. You have to physically stand, physically put your hands here, physically prostrate, physically go down. So it's physical actions, a physical worship. Hajj. Is a physical act of worship also, or there is a physical aspect to it, where you have to walk to the or go to the different areas, and you have to stone, and you have to do all these physical actions also. <coughs> so these are physical acts of worship upon our limbs. They also have to be singled out to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala alone. So Tawheed al uluhiya is our actions, with reference to our actions that we make them unique for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Whether it's acts of worship from our heart, acts of worship upon our tongue, acts of worship upon our limbs. Whatever that act of worship is. This category did the mushrikeen accept it or not? So this was the category that the mushrikeen they refused to accept. They accepted the rububiyyah. That Allah, He is unique with those actions. But they refused to accept that we are going to make our actions unique to Allah. Rather what they said was, yes, okay, Allah has a rububiyyah. He is unique in all of those actions. But when it comes to uluhiyah, we're going to separate. And we're going to worship Allah and we'll worship our other idols also. And when they used to sacrifice, they used to sacrifice, as is in the Quran, Surah Al-An'am, they used to sacrifice, and a certain portion they would say, that's for Allah, and this portion is for our, our idols. And loving, as Allah says in the Quran as well. And there are those people who take uh, partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they love them as they love Allah, as the believers love Allah, afterwards in the ayahs mentioned also. So their love was participating, it, it was split. Split between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their idols. Their other acts of worship were split 
and it wasn't sincere and there wasn't tawheed in their actions for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They didn't make their actions unique to Allah. So that's what uluhiyah is. Our actions, we make them unique to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rububiyah is Allah's actions. And that's why sometimes these uh, categories, they give them different names as well. Rububiyah and uluhiyah. Uh, there are other names sometimes the scholars, especially when you read the books of the previous scholars, Ibn Qayyim and Ibn Taymiyyah and before that the Salaf. Sometimes rububiyah, they, they call it Tawheedul Ma'rifah. The Tawheed of Knowledge. Why is Rububiyah called the Tawheed of Knowledge? And they call the other one Tawheed al-Talab al-Qasd or Tawheed al-Amali. They call, sometimes they call Tawheed al-Rububiyah Tawheed al-Ilmi and they call Tawheed al-Uluhiyah Tawheed al-Amali. Rububiyah they say is the Tawheed of Knowledge and Uluhiyah is the Tawheed of Action. How come? Uh, Rububiyah, this makes you it's, it's based upon knowledge. There's no action involved. It's knowledge. You accept that Allah is the Creator. You accept that Allah is... It's all upon your aqidah, your knowledge of what Allah does and singling out Allah with those actions. But Tawheed al here they say, is the Tawheed of action. Why? Because it's about your actions. When you do your actions, you single them out for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So sometimes they give these other names too for these categories. And there's lots of other names too. But The third category is the category which is Tawheed of the name.